Hola, buenos días, no tardes. Bienvenido a la ciudad de México. Hoy es viernes. It's Friday and it's also November the 2nd, which means Dia de Muertos. Exciting. By the way, I've just filmed this bit maybe 20 times until I realized I had something stuck in my tooth. So I've got to do it again. Filming life. Amazing. So this is the first of two videos I'm doing today. This one is more talky related about a specific interesting topic. The second one will be more themed around Day of the Dead, so watch out for that one. I'm in Navarte, at least very close to Navarte, right now, and I moved back here last night. So those of you that are long-term viewers might remember that I was living in Navarte. It was the first place I moved to in Mexico City, and something struck me last night when I was walking to Oxo. I remembered back to when I first got here, when everyone was telling me Mexico City is so dangerous, you know, I've, I was being really self-aware and conscious of my surroundings and that kind of thing. And last night, although obviously I would still be like that to a certain degree, I wasn't because I felt at home, I felt comfortable. And it got me thinking back to a video I did a very long time ago in terms of my first impressions of Mexico City. So today I wanted to sit down and answer the question, have my opinions changed? Have my impressions changed of Mexico City for the better, for the worse? We're going to find out in this video. I'm going to jump on the subway now. We're going to Coyacan to also check out what's going on for Dia de Muertos. Let's go. Oh, it's hot. Tip of the day, if we're coming to Coyacan, Coyacan metro station is literally nowhere near Coyacan itself. So you do have to walk down this like big road. It takes about 20 minutes, no problem. To walk out of the station past San Angel Hospital, cars everywhere, just up that way. At least, I think it is, if I remember rightly from last time. So welcome back to Coyacan. Yes, welcome back. If you want to check out the video I did originally here, check out the link up above in the card. Just to point out the level of detail that goes into this channel, this literally exact spot to the centre me, it was where I filmed the first impressions video of Mexico City. This time though, there are many children around me screaming and shouting and talking to me while I'm trying to do this. Right, attention to detail is over, I've moved. I can't deal with these effing niños for a moment longer. In terms of my impressions of Mexico City and how they've changed, have they changed? Yes and no. I'm gonna start off with no. So when I came here, I didn't have all of these preconceived ideas about Mexico that everyone talks about, these, you know, the mainstream media's ideas of Mexico and prejudices, that kind of thing. So I kind of came here with a mind which I think other people may not come to Mexico with. Like I said in that video that I mentioned before, I've, I've been to Central America, I've spent a lot of time in South America. Obviously they're different countries and they're not Mexico, but in terms of Latin America and 
living in these countries and knowing what to expect, I had some level of expectation already. So in terms of that, no, it hasn't changed at all. Um, quite honestly, I'm actually shocked and surprised by some of the things that I've heard since I've been here in terms of mainstream media. It's just ignorant, completely ignorant, lack of knowledge and really frustrating uh, because I feel like a Mexican now and to hear some of the things that people say about Mexico without even coming here, it drives me crazy because I think you can sense my anger. And, um, you know, don't have a idea about a country unless you actually come here. So in that respect, no, nothing has changed in terms of my impressions of Mexico. In terms of yes, yes, things have changed, I think, but for the positive, not negative at all. Um, I already knew that, you know, people in Mexico and people in Latin America were fantastic, helpful, friendly and welcoming, but that has just increased exponentially in the time I've been here. People are so welcoming, even though I don't speak Spanish, well, basic Spanish, you saw in the last video, um, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, sometimes I do feel like I'm the, the stupid foreigner that can't speak the language, but people are very patient, and um, that's been one of the greatest things. One thing I did say in that video uh, that was slightly ignorant was the fact that I, I felt like um, I didn't look like a Mexican, but actually one of the things I've learned, and I'm not ashamed to say that I was ignorant about it, Mexico is huge and there's so much culture and history and religion, food in different areas of Mexico and people do look different. You know, there isn't one way that a Mexican looks. I could quite easily pass for a Mexican. Um, people look different in terms of skin colour, hair colour, everything all over the country. Um, so there isn't just one way that a Mexican looks. I don't think that as I thought when I first came here. And as I just mentioned about history, culture, religion and food, the idea that I had in the beginning when I came to Mexico was, yeah, there was a certain level of culture, history, that sort of thing, but the time that I've been here, it's just exploded, and I've been to a lot of countries in the world, and by far, Mexico is the country that has the most diverse level of culture, history, people, religion, food, everything. And, um, and one of the things I just wanted to say to end this was the fact that as a traveller, as a backpacker back in the day, yes, I used to stay in hostels, I think Central America, Mexico, South America in general are kind of forgotten about when it comes to tra as possible travelling destinations, whether that be backpacking, whether that be long-term travelling, whether that being a digital nomad. Everyone talks about Asia, Chiang Mai, Thailand, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Bali, Indonesia, and yeah, I've been to all those places except Chiang Mai. But if you're in that position and you want to travel for the first time or maybe the second time or be a digital nomad consider mexico please because this place has done so much for me in terms of travel in terms of working online in terms of everything so um overall mexico is awesome uh, quite honestly and yes my opinion has changed but for the better fantastic right before i go newsflash i almost passed out twice yesterday once in a supermarket once on the subway. I think it's due to lack of food and water and general exhaustion. So on that note, before we go, before we leave Koya Can, let's have some food. There's proper sausages behind me. Sausages! It's to rain a bit, but I don't care. I've got sausages. That is the first proper sausage I think I've had in two years. It's amazing. Beautiful. Sausages for life. I'm not going to give you a detailed food video because I'm crap at that. I'm just going to eat it. Right, I swear this is the final stop now. I've just stopped off for some churros. Well, literally one of them, filled with Nutella. Mm. Food orgasm alert. That's heavenly. One thing I love about Queer Can 
is you get these churros that they inject with things. Like Nutella. <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm stuffed now. Once again, Mexican food has turned me into a pig. So thank you Koya Khan once again for a lovely day and lots of lovely food. You might remember in the last video my battery died before I could eat the churros. But this time we've been successful. What are your thoughts about Mexico? If you, particularly if you've been in Mexico for a long time as a foreigner, did your thoughts change? Did your impressions change? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. The next video is from Miss Quick. Amazing. Although I say that, if I pass out on the way there, there won't be a video. But wish me luck. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.